Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 10 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about creating stages in pipeline project using Jenkins 2.0. And this part is going to be a complete continuation of part 8 and 9. So please go ahead and watch those two videos before watching this part. All right, stages. And why are we really going to the stages? Well, Stages is really, really helpful in order to view the progress of each and every steps being happening within your pipeline. For instance, in our previous videos, we saw there is execution happening in the, the UI of the Jenkins. And we we're just looking at what's really happening by going to the console output. That was not so nice because it was there from the freestyle days. But in pipeline, there is one more option option called stage where you can specify the stage where it is being executed. So let's quickly see this in action. So for that, I'm going to flip to Windows 10 virtual machine. So here, as you can see, while we were executing the build, we saw that there was no progress being happening. So every time we go over here and we go to the console output and we'll see what is the progress being happening there, right? But now what I'm going to do is we can also make use of what is called as stage within our pipeline step so that we can mention like which stage we are currently executing in. So in order to visualize this, I'm going to click the configure. And if I come down a little bit here, you can see that we know what is this particular step is being doing right now. It is actually checking out the code from GitHub, right? And then it is actually executing the Maven for us. And then it is going to generate a report for us, right? So these are the different kinds of steps that we got. Right. So in order to see what is the syntax for the stage, you can actually go over here to the sample steps. And then let's see if there is something called as stage. And you can see that we have something called a stage here. Right. So if we want to give a name for the stage, let's say checkout and hit here, you can see there is a stage checkout and there is a block. Right. So I'm going to copy that. And then if I come over here, we can just give something like this stage. So this is the the block, something like this, right? Similarly, you can specify one more stage here, something like this stage. And we can say that this stage is actually going to be build and test, right? So this is this particular stage doing. So I'm going to, surround that with the curly brace as well. And then there is a final stage where it is going to generate a report for us. So I'm going to say generate report and I'm going to keep that as well. There we go. So as you can see, we have did everything over here using the stage. And uh, this is kind of pretty easy to read as well. What's really going to happen there. And you can see that this particular file is otherwise called as a Jenkins file. So you can actually save this particular file and make use of this Jenkins file very easily while you create a new pipeline project, right? So we'll talk about that later in our video series. So I'm just going to save it. And now if I try to build this particular job, you can see that quickly now we have something called as a stage view. And within the stage view, it also says that Currently, for this particular execution, it is checking out the code, right? And then there is a build and test is really happening. And if I go over here, if I hover this checkout, you can see there is a log as well. So it will show me quickly what's log is really there for that particular uh, particular step. And if I go to this build and test, I can go to the logs and you can see what's really happening there. So basically it is trying to execute uh, the the Maven test for us. So again, let's do a log Go here. You can see that it is trying to execute slow and steadily for that particular thing, right? So the log is automatically being generated here. So this is kind of a sync. I mean, it is an asynchronous code where it will automatically show you what's really happening behind the scene. So now you will have a look and feel and you will have a state of what's really happening while the test is being executed. And you can also see what is the stage where the test is being running. If you have something called a full stage view in here. So if you click this, you can see that where the test is being happening. So you can see it visually uh, in a bigger screen, like what's really happening. And similarly, if you go to this particular 
execution and if you go to the pipeline steps here it will also show you the steps for this particular pipeline see what's really happening so these are the status currently is executing the windows batch script for the particular test so in progress you can see the test is currently being executed over here and you can also see quickly the console output for the particular uh, event which is currently happening right and now let me go back to the project and let's quickly see what's really happening all right so you can see the checkout is done and the build and test is going to be done as well as quick as possible and then finally we'll get a, a report generation there we go it says generate report right so almost complete so there is an information and you can see that the, how much time it has taken for each and every step so it has taken nine seconds for checking out one minute 59 second for build and test and for generating report it took only three seconds so we have all the information over here in our fingertips with a very very neat intuitive ui as well right very very clean and neat this time and also we saw how we can see each and every stage by stage view for that particular pipeline so if you go to the pipeline steps you can see how much time it has taken for each and every operation as much clearly as possible right so this is the another beauty of looking at how Jenkins is actually building the test for us right so that's it guys this is how you can make use of visualization using stage in Jenkins so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day